Hi everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to talk about Groove Agent and how to route outputs and bounce audio tracks. Let's get started. So normally you would open up a blank instance of Groove Agent through your rack. Today we're going to work with the production grooves so it's a little bit different. Go to your media library, click on loops and samples, scroll down, and you'll find the production grooves. Let's listen to a few of these. Double click on the one that you like and it'll load Groove Agent, it'll load a MIDI pattern, and it'll also have all those sound banks that go with that production groove. If you look at our mixer, you'll see some of our outputs are already loaded from Groove Agent. Here I'm just going to change the tempo of our project. It's labeled at 90, but I'm going to go for 100 BPM on this project. Let's see what that sounds like. So here I'm just going to open up Piano Roll. Here you see that Groove Agent has its own internal mixer. So the internal mixer is great while creating music. However, in order to bounce out audio, you're going to have to activate outputs. Here all of our outputs are listed. Now you can simply click to add or take away outputs as needed for your project. Now we're going to open up the mix console so you can see what I mean. We're just going to add three output tracks. We'll take them away because we don't need them to export our audio from this project. So let's say we're finished and we're ready to export. We'll go to the file tab, hit the export, audio mix down. You see all of our outputs are listed, so all those tracks will be exported. We'll name the file, and then we'll hit export. So now all of our tracks are bounced out into their own mixer channel. So that's it. Subscribe if you like the video and comment if you want to see others like it. Thank you.